Good afternoon or good evening from Yummy Bean TV, depending on when this video reaches you. Of course, just finished traveling on my birthday, all being it the first day of the year 2023, I felt the need after just visiting somebody else, actually, this is what brought this on. Um, a message of peace and harmony to all YouTube podcasters and all anybody that's involved with YouTube life. Now, when I first set out on this journey, there wasn't many YouTube wars, not to the extent that I've been witnessing over the last 18 months or so with the ding-dongs and the back and forth. And, you know, some men and women used to get on quite fine in the past and now they've fallen out. And now the name calling has continued and continued for a lifetime. And where I've just been, in fact, the reason why I say this today is because children, mothers, daughters, sons, cousins, just because you're not the person or the family member up there being called names, a lot of those name calling, some of the worstest names that you could ever be called, affects the families as well, which some people have touched on before in the past. But the only difference is to this message I'm giving you today, and this isn't a warning, if I, I don't know anything or, or, of, of, of anything about to happen imminently, if you get what I mean. But I have the sneaky feeling, so no, I have a serious feeling that it could end in tragedy, uh, a lot of these wars. I'm talking about somebody getting their head blown off, not literally, but you know, to, to the harm of that extent with some of the things that have been said on YouTube about other people and other people being affected by it. Like there's only so much people can take uh, by name calling, if you get what I mean, and being belittled in public so the whole world can see, as well as the family members, if you get what I mean. Now I'm not letting anybody into anything. I, I don't know anything, so I don't think I'm sending out any for, um, subliminal messages or I'm of knowledge that somebody's about to get done or anything like that. I'm saying, why don't you all cause, call a peace and truce to everything? If you don't get on with each other, why don't you all just walk away and go and stay in your own lane and do the work that you set out to do when you first opened up your YouTube channels? Right, clickbaiting is gonna go on forever and ever because some people can only get views by having these arguments and spats online and saying what he said and jumping on this side against that one and then this one takes sides with that one. But some of the name calling is so, so, so bad that I've just witnessed myself, uh, a family suffering because their dad is getting slaughtered in public daily and nightly. And it's gone on for yonks and yonks and yonks. So it's not nice, is it, if you're in a school playground and your son's being teased by other kids that your dad's a rapist and this one's this and I heard that because, you know, I've got grandchildren, I've got young kids around other family members that I'm, I'm around and they watch YouTube. They're very savvy kids. They, they can sneak on there. They might be four, five, six years of age. I go certain places and the kids come immediately and say, oh, I watched you at school and we were laughing at you, Uncle Yum. They're only kids, but yet they're listening to all that. If you get what I mean. Now, some of you used to get on, some of you, you know, you've fallen out and the, ch the chances are that you could be friends again, hopefully, you know, if not, go your own way. Stay in your own lane. It doesn't, it doesn't serve any purpose whatsoever. Me the same. I fell out with Ray Hill over a load of rubbish. I called a truce on it, made peace with the older gentleman, Uncle Ray, and, you know, let it go. So why doesn't everyone at the start of the year just call it a day, everybody go their own way, don't worry about what anybody else is doing, just do your own thing, and get on with your own journey. I already know who the st main stirrers are out there and they don't seem to have a message of any kind. They've got no experiences of anything to really send messages to the kids, you know, like with 
uh, things that have happened in my life. You know, me, I'm the same. There's victims to some of the men that I talk about, uh, murderers, unfortunately, and they will be unhappy to be hearing their names. I could be a culprit. I could be a victim if this happens and I lose my life over this, this YouTube thing. Remember to play this video if you get what I mean. But on a serious note, I'm telling you, it will end very, very seriously and very, very soon as well. It's been going on too long and there's only so much certain individuals can take. I'm telling you, as brave as they go up there and they say their bit and when you call him that, he comes back and you come back, oh, you did this to that one, I've got evidence on that and you was dissing that past life and, uh, you know, it, it's been going on and on, ding-dongs, and everybody still back and forth listening, the stirrers in the background, of course, playing their parts, doing their trolling bits, I understand it all now, but I'm telling you, some people, are really sailing, sailing close to the wind. It gets really, really hurtful. There's nothing worse for a man to go home to his family or those closest to him and having to answer what other people have heard about people saying about him online. And not just online by viewers and, you know, we expect bad comments because with, some, with me personally being a criminal, ex-criminal, uh, I'm gonna get bad comments and bad press from certain areas. Uh, but others uh, who might not have even led my life but have their own channels kind of thing will get bad press too because you might be arguing with somebody that somebody else likes more and then they take sides and then they get theirs. There's so many ways, different ways to do it if you get what I mean. You can even, I'm hearing that certain people are paying trolls to purposely go up there and call people names and that kind of stuff. Where do you find the time um, to do all that? So that's the message, right? Before anything seriously, seriously happens, right? Um, I say, why don't we, you, we all, not me, because I'm not in beef with anybody out there as far as I know, right? On, on the YouTube podcast, there's that kind of thing. I just, I just keep in my own lane and continue on my journey. Um, I'm not perfect, I'm, I'm still a vulnerable man, I'm still a normal human being, which we all are. I'm not into fronting and pretending and doing all that kind of stuff. I just do it the best way and best way possible and make sure even with all these um, gratuitous violent stories and what, we're, what I put up and other bits of video, um, video stories and things, different subjects I put up, I just hope somebody, one person, two people, whoever gets some kids, they get warnings, I try to warn them about the cats, how dangerous it is, and try and prevent them going there. Come with a message of some kind. Come with some, like a message of where, you know, somebody can say, oh, thank you for helping me. And what you're doing out here is doing a lot to change my life. If you get what I mean, be more motivational and more inspirational and be more role model -y so that people can look up to you, up to you for the right reasons. We're all human. Many of us are going to bite back if you're going to be called nonces and this and that in public. You're going to go, if you're not, if you're not one, for one, you're going to go up there and you're going to want to argue back and call them the same kind of names. Or if you're better at arguing back, you're going to say worse of things. And some people are going to be more believable than others. But there are also men out there that are not great talkers and can't express themselves in public and on videos uh, the way some of us can and they might take it more personally and one day might wanna do something very, very, very severely. Or it's very easy these days to go and get somebody else to do it, if you get what I mean. So before it gets to that stage, why don't you all just start, start the new year with a truce. Everybody, leave everybody alone. No bad vibes, no negativity. Start off a brand new year where we just stay in all our own lanes. Unless, of course, we're working together um, for the benefit of all, if you get what I mean. So, just a quick message, probably dragged on a bit too much, but that's what I'm saying. I'm believing it's getting very, very serious now, some of this stuff, uh, and a lot of people will be affected because one, one domino effect, it 
all starts knocking over, if you get what I mean. One murder or one serious thing can lead to loads more happening. So before it gets to that stage, just be kind, send in loads of love.